Hello there. This time we are talking about a new tutorial. Pre-shading in two different versions. Here I'm starting to uh, use my airbrush and spraying like a reddish brown from the bottom onto, onto all the uh, yeah, downwards parts of the miniature. This will be our darkest shadow. After the first shadows are finished, we are switching to our primary color. In this case we are using a regal blue and spraying directly from you know, like the horizontal line onto the miniature and from the top. This will um, just keep the recesses and the shadows. After the primary color is done, we apply a first highlight just from the top, like 30 to 45 degrees angle. And here is the final result, ready for uh, yeah ongoing paint job. The second yeah kind of highlighting or prime highlighting is using two different uh, kind of primers. In this case, I've sprayed the miniature in black, and after that applied a white layering directly from the po from the top with my airbrush. So you are creating like shadows and brighter colors by using the primers and then spraying on just one base color and the yeah, differences in the priming will yeah, evolve into like shadows and lights. After base coating the whole miniature in just one color red, you can see that you have a darker red on the bottom and a shiny red on the top. That is a yeah, really easy technique but with a stunning effect. Thank you for watching. Please uh, watch, comment and subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you like the video and if you like the new face of my videos. Um, and the following there will be two uh, videos that can be uh, yeah, arrived by a link. On the left side there is uh, the easy rust and patina effects that you can easily do for your miniatures and on the right side you learn how to paint realistic gems for your miniatures. So thank you, goodbye. Uh, your Warpainter out.